Hey everybody, this is one of those knives that is just going to get you to say, shut up and take my money. <laughs> this is this is the predecessor to our original box cutter battle song, which has been a huge hit. We wanted to make a longer handled version, okay? So to do that, we stretched out the blade holder and we added in this cool little hex wrench, which I think it's a 12, a 10, and an 8. So for light duty, you might be able to utilize that. It's still got our bottle opener spring loaded latch on the handle. We now have, instead of a 7 inch overall length, we have a 9 inch overall length. And the total weight on this XL utility is now 3.5 ounces. But wait, there's more, okay? Without getting salesy at all, what good would this knife be if there was only one blade option? Now, you know, the whole point of having a utility knife is, is to be able to quickly swap the blade out, right? So that's what's so cool about this design is it's got basically a little frame lock built into the handle. And the little notches inside allow you to just quickly swap the blade, flip it around, lock it in firmly, and you're ready, you know, to go again. But for those that don't exactly want to always have a utility knife, we also created the dub, okay? So this is the Arena Dub in D2 Steel. It's finished in a nice bead blast finish. The grind on it is excellent quality. And when you attach this blade to it, you basically got an entirely new knife. So let's let's show you guys what it looks like when you have it attached. The price point around on this knife is is less than a lot of stainless steel models. Okay, we're not going to mention any names, but when you're when you're thinking about you know some of the most popular stainless steel battle songs on the market right now, you know they're in that you know sub one twenty range and. That's where we were able to keep this. Only difference is we've got titanium involved here, okay? So with the other models that you might find, you know, to be super popular and all your friends are whipping them around, they're stainless steel handles. And then if you wanted to upgrade and, you know, throw in some flytanium handles, you're talking another 150 bucks. You're starting right from scratch with titanium. So you got the 6AL4V titanium handles. You've got um, a nice stainless steel pocket clip, which is inset. If you don't like the pocket clip, it's one T6 torque screw to remove. Same thing with the latch, you know, the spring latch could be removed very easily, even when you're doing the blade swap. But this is, this is basically a year in the making. I, you know, I sketched up a quick blade design, you know, it took the factory a little time to help me out with the CAD and, and get it into production, but we finally have it here. So, uh, once again, the dub name, how did we get that? We, we basically just said, Hey, it's a Warncliffe. It's a reverse Tonto. Let's call it the dub. There we go. And, and that's it. That's, that's it in a nutshell. Both knives weigh right around three and a half ounces. The play on the handles is, is minimal. This is the same type of quality you would expect from a knife that's, you know, double to triple its price point. And, you know, how does it flip? I'm sorry that I'm not a master uh, here, but when you guys, when we get some, some, you know, reviews going on the internet and we get some actual, you know, professional flippers, you're going to see that this thing's very, very well balanced. You can you can helicopter twirl it. You can you can do all your tricks, and and you're gonna you're gonna basically be able to do it on a budget, okay? Because that's what we're all about at Arena Accessories. We're tired of carrying the budget knives that you know everybody else is selling. We want to start making our own private label stuff with our own name on it, and and you know we stand behind our products. If you ever were you know to come into a situation where you know something happened and you lost a screw, where are you going to go? You're going to come to us and you're going to deal with this small family business right here, and we're going to hook you guys up to, you know, keep you keep you active and keep your keep your knife working for you. So if you guys are uh, have any questions, please leave us uh, some comments below. I'm trying not to rant too much because you know this knife is going to basically speak for itself. Um, we we really are super excited about it we were already selling them and uh, since yesterday they just hit the office so uh, if you guys have any questions any concerns anything else that you want to bring up please leave us a like and, and be sure to subscribe because we're going to have the links in the description to the full disassembly um for those that want to see how you you know swap the blade the screws just also mentioned they're, they're channeled in a d shape so that one side doesn't spin at all. There is some light thread locker uh, applied from the factory on the, the, the front of the screws right here, the, the, the screws that the, the side that you remove, the male side. And you know, when you go and swap the blade, it's it's basically up to you to you know apply your own thread locker again. If you're gonna if you're planning on keeping it one way or the other, if you want to have you know go with the red or the blue, we have the Vibratite also in the store. 
if anybody needs it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and, and we hope you love this. And feel free to check out the links in the description.